Okay, take two. <laughs> uh, I accidentally didn't do it right. But anyway, it is a beautiful morning. The sun is out. It is breezy. Now, when I first got up this morning and I took the dogs out for a walk, humidity is so high, I felt like I had an elephant on my chest. It was so high. And it's still high, but I took my inhaler and I feel a little better. But uh, some of the things I want to talk about today, and it's when we pray. You know, a lot of times we pray for things and we ask, you know, Lord, show us the way. Show us what it is that you want us to do. Or just show me the right things, the right way to go. And we think to ourselves, okay, he answered me. He told me to go ahead and do this. He, he, he answered me by letting me know to do that. But was it him that answered you or was it your own desire that answered you? And that, that's what I want to talk about. Sometimes we think that God is talking to us when we're talking to us. When we pray, I, I, I pray, Lord, let your will be done. Don't let my will be done because my will messed me up so many times. But let your will be done. Whatever I need in my life, you will show me what it is. You will confirm that it is you. I've always believed that God will confirm when it is him that is speaking to you. I, uh, I'm sorry, I'm looking out the window because I'm looking at the breeze and it's so beautiful. and <laughs> It's just so beautiful. And when I look at the breeze, I think about the Holy Spirit and how we don't see it, but we can feel it. You know, and that's what I'm looking at. I mean, I see the effects, but I feel it. And I have, okay, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm off the subject. Sometimes I get off the subject easy. <laughs> okay. Um, but anyway, back to the prayers. Quite a few people have said, you know, I pray for this and I pray for that and I don't get an answer. Well, sometimes that is the answer. You know? Think about it. Sometimes we pray, oh God, I need a, a Mercedes Benz. You know, that's, that's a desire of my heart. And you promised me that you'd give me the desire of my heart. But is that really for you? Is it really for you? Is it the desire of your heart to have something that's not really good for you? I mean, oh, yeah, you're going to have the pleasure of, oh, look what I got. I got a Mercedes Benz. But is that good for you? Hey, they break down just as easy as a little old clunker that somebody's driving down the road. Hey, yeah, they do. I don't care how expensive a car is. When they're going to break down, they're going to break down. God gives the desires of our hearts. Yes, he does, but what is the desire of your heart? Is the desire of your heart something that is good for you or something that isn't but you want? I'm not sure if I know how to express what I feel. I, I, I try to say what I feel, but sometimes I don't explain it the way I feel it. I mean, like, you know, I... I I didn't pray for this bus. I didn't pray for the bus. I prayed for something different. Something that would be of more comfort for me and larger for me and the fur babies. And this is what I got. But this is what the Lord led me to. And the reason I know that is because the guy wanted $2,500 for it. I was the first person that contacted him. 
I offered him 1300 because I only had 1400 And he went down a whole thousand dollars. Now, why would he have gone down a whole thousand dollars when he went at 2500 Come on, that's a whole thousand difference. And then it was another day before I even went to go see it. And he held it for me at 1500 And then when I saw it, and I told him, I do want it, but I've only got 1400 That's all I have. And he said, okay. Wasn't that God? I would say that was God. Because God gave me the desire of my heart. More room. More room. I didn't want more beauty. You know, oh, it would be nice to have had a real nice class C and, you know, the whole works. I didn't ask for that. I said, Lord, I need something larger, something roomier, something more convenient for me. And he gave it to me. Not only did he gave it, he gave me the opportunity to get it with what I had. So, see, God knows what we have and what we need. So when we ask, we, I don't, I mean, I'll specify at times things that I want or things that I think I need. The word, operative word, think we need. So we pray for the things that we think we need. But do we really need them or do we, is it that we really want them? I think what we need to do is always get that confirmation from God that this is the right thing. He confirmed it to me. He confirmed this bus to me. The price went down. The man held it for a whole day. Anybody else could have gone there and paid him $2,500 and gotten it and gone. But he held it. And then he went down another $100 because that's all I had. Isn't that God? I would say that was God. And I would say that was confirmation that he was giving me what I needed. Not what I wanted, but what I needed. So, when we pray, I would say, don't always expect the answer to be what we want. But listen, listen to what he is trying to answer to you. Because a lot of times we don't listen. We just, okay, this is what I want, so okay. And in your mind you're saying, oh, look, that's exactly what I want. Oh, he just answered my prayers. But did he answer your prayers? Or did you answer your own prayers? <laughs> you know, I never thought about that. But sometimes we answer our own prayers. And I would say a lot of times it goes whoosh, down. <laughs> I mean, honestly, <laughs> I've answered my own prayers many times, and boy, did I, did I choose the wrong way. Did I ever? Because I didn't listen. I listened to me. I didn't listen to God. So, anyway, that's all I want to talk about today, because I know some people right now are trying to figure out what they want to do, or should they do this or should they do that? Uh, should they go out on the road right now? Should they give up what they do have that is secure right now? Um, you know, senior citizens have to be very careful about what they do and what their choices in life are. Sometimes if we give up everything for one little thing, one little desire, we may regret it for the rest of our life because once you leave all that behind, you can't go back to it. It's gone. You sold it. You got rid of all your things. Now what do you have? You have a vehicle to live in. Your money is going to go fast. Whatever extra money you have, that's going to go fast. Unless you have the opportunity to make more money on the road. It's going to go fast. 
there is breakdowns and I don't care how new the vehicle is it can break down and sometimes these newer vehicles they're going to cost you more because it's all electronics so that's going to even cost you more to fix so yeah listen make sure you hear God's answer not yours but God's I love you all you all take care I pray for each of you. Please pray for me too because we all need prayers one form or another for one reason or another. I have my little prayer box here and I am looking. See, my little prayer box. Got the hole in there. <laughs> and I'm trying to find a bulletin board that I could put somewhere in here because I am going to do that. And I'm going to pin each and every one of those prayers onto it i'll tape it on there i have my anointing oil i will anoint each and every one of those prayers all those requests i will anoint it and i pray for each and every one of you that god's will be done in your life and that your needs will be fulfilled take care god bless you see you tomorrow or the next day or the day after but i'll see you soon